Good evening and welcome to Let's Play Herald. Now this is just the demo. This is a game that is available on, well it's not available yet. It's on the Steam Greenlight, so it's available to vote for. We're going to take a look at it, see how it's going. It's also on Kickstarter, as you can see here. Uh, I'll have the link to both the Kickstarter and to Greenlight in the uh, episode description. But it says it's a choice-driven adventure, very story-oriented. So let's jump in here, see what we got. Continue your story, Devin. You told me that it was night aboard the Herald. You were looking for a missing gun. Ooh. Tell me what happened next. What does your journal say? So there's a gun missing aboard the Herald. The boatswain has asked me to find the thief before the captain does. If he finds out, we'll all be in trouble. One of the crew members told me that Officer Brunswick hides a spare key somewhere near his cabin. My investigations have led me to the cabin of First Officer Rupert Brunswick. I should sneak in while he is running his shift. And I was told by Boatswain that the captain has forbidden all crew members to bear arms, even officers. Okay. So, we'll take a look at that. What else have we got here? Encyclopedia. Oh, no people yet. Nothing about the Herald yet either, that's fine. Pictures, documents, antiques, every day. Okay, and then what's this? Ah, oh, map. So we're on the top deck, I guess? Weather deck, tween deck, and the cargo hold. Cool. So there's a key around here somewhere, it says. The picture contained the spare key. Oh, that worked, that worked out well. So, I'm now able to open the door behind me. Well, well. We will, but let's look at everything else first. The closet was closed. I wondered what skeletons it was hiding. I kind of want to know what that paper is on the side. But we're not targeting that, we're just hitting the closet. The barrels were filled with rum. I wouldn't be surprised if these were placed there on special request. Alright, let's get into the room behind us because now... Are these going to the... No, this is going to this room and this is the locked door. Well, what's in this room? On the writing slope lay a detailed map of the African coast, the sea full of lines, markings, and notes I didn't understand. What do we got here? Devin Rensburg. Looking through the Merchant Navy's handbook, I discovered that officers are usually allowed to carry guns, but other members of the crew aren't. Okay. So, yep, here we go. Every officer is allowed to carry a firearm while performing his duties, and he keeps said firearm at all times clean and in good condition. So that's why Officer Brunswick's so upset, eh? Because the captain said, no, I don't care if that's in the rules. We're doing it different. I wondered if Brunswick's moral compass was as trustworthy as the one on his deck. Well, well. Desk. I got the sudden urge to write something obscene in one of Brunswick's books, but realized that this was an incredibly stupid idea. Yeah, because he'll hunt down who did it, and you'll get caught and be in all kinds of trouble. A small collection of astronomy books betrayed Brunswick's fascination with the celestial bodies. Maybe this was the secret to his success as a navigator. Oh, well, that makes sense. Is this a different set of books? There were books about navigation, geography, mathematics, and poetry. None of them looked very interesting to me. What's this? It seemed that the captain had a discussion with Officer Brunswick about gun policy. The letter also talked about a draft coming from the bookcase in Brunswick's room. Ooh. Dear Brunswick, I was pleased to hear that you agree with me that the official guidelines regarding gun policy are outdated. Thus, I have decided to reserve the use of firearms for emergencies only. On a side note, you might have noticed a draft coming from the bookcase in your room. There is a loose plank there that needs to be fixed. Until then, it should not be much of a problem if you put a couple of books against it. Yours sincerely, Cornus Hendricks. Well, now we have a good idea where to find this gun. What's this? That looks rather like a key, but that's not what we need. Okay, let's back out of this corner. And it looks like... Oh, 
What's this over here? The entire bookcase was devoted to poetry. Among them were some of the most famous works by Shakespeare, Byron, and Poe. I was surprised to find Brunswick's spyglass in here. You'd think a navigator would take that with him at all times. That's a point. A loose board was cleverly hidden behind a couple of books. Well, let's get that. Behind the loose wallboard was a cleverly hidden compartment containing an, a single booklet. It seemed to be Brunswick's journal. I thought it would be the gun. Well, let's look at his journal. While going through Brunswick's journal, I stumbled upon a passage about a hole in the wall that was covered with a painting. I had all but forgotten about that hole in the wall, rediscovering it only when I wanted to move a painting. Naturally, that means the painting has to stay where it is, even if it does look better on the opposite wall. I have decided against informing Ludlow about the hole, as not to raise unnecessary discomfort. And, of course, as Captain Hendricks so often emphasizes, he is responsible to know of all that takes place aboard a ship. On the other hand, it does not feel right to betray a fellow officer for something that, by my judgment, does not endanger the functioning of the crew or ship in any way. Meanwhile, Jan is doing wonderfully. His comprehension of navigational principles growing by the day. Okay, so... So the gun's going to be behind the painting, then. On the top shelf stood a portrait of a stern-looking man. I later learned it was Brunswick's mother. <laughs> Oh my. One of the paintings depicted three white boys playing with a ball on a sunlit square. Oh, how do we turn back to the... There we go. The painting seemed to have been moved recently. Behind it was a small gap between the planks. Look at that idiot! Yeah, that's why we're not allowed firearms, dummy. Well. <laughs> we'll talk to him. What's that? Is there someone spying on me? Did he steal the gun? I don't, I don't know that he stole it. Uh, I guess I didn't really know what to say. I don't feel confident yet accusing him, and I don't really want to apologize either. I know you are there, Brunswick. I can hear you breathe through the wall. <laughs> Have you done this before? Ooh, spied on him? Because I, well, um, I'm not revealing my identity. I guess he doesn't know it's us, so we'll accuse him of stealing the gun. You stole the gun. Oh, he figured out it's us anyhow. What are you doing in there? Are you snooping around? Well, a little bit. I didn't expect you to be that kind of person. Well, I'll tell him I was searching for a missing gun. I'm looking for a missing gun, and I think I just found it. Come into my cabin. I'll unlock the door for you. I don't know. You were waving around a gun. I'm not sure that's the best idea. What's this picture? painting of the night sky was hanging on the wall. The use of colors was striking. Alright, let's head out here. I think that's everything in that room. And this door is not locked anymore. This door is locked. Well, let's head over here. Well, what do you have to say for yourself? First off, can I look at anything in your room? No. Before you start, please listen to me, Devin. Yeah, all right. I know it's against the captain's rules and all, but some rules are there to be broken. Um. Why? Why, why do you need to break this particular rule? I'm going to give him a lecture. I can't believe your disregard for authority. When are you going to live up to your title, officer? Don't lecture me. Not after I just caught you going through Brunswick's private belongings. <laughs> I'm not telling him I'm just joking. I'll ask him if he's all right. Are you willing to explain to me what's wrong? You, you do seem troubled. I'm fine. Don't worry. I wasn't secretly plotting to go on a spill killing spree tonight. But you never know. I might change my mind. Yeah, that's going to set me at ease. Um, why'd you shut yourself in here? 
May I ask why you locked yourself in your cabin with a gun? I hope you're not trying to... I'm not suicidal. It's just... It's just not fair, Devin. What? I know the Merchant Navy Handbook from cover to cover. It says clearly that every officer is allowed to bear arms. Every officer, Devin. I'm an officer, so why don't I get to exercise my rights aboard the Herald? Well, why is the gun so important? <laughs> Forget the damn gun, Devin. It's not about that. What's it about? I just want the captain to know that if Brunswick gives up his rights, it doesn't automatically mean that I'll give up mine as well. For some reason, I'm always expected to do as the white man does. I'm never trusted to make my own decisions. Sometimes I feel like I'm an officer in nothing but name. Well, this isn't... This gun thing I don't think is a race issue. It's nobody's allowed to have guns on this ship. Alright, I don't want to be a tattletale and report him. But I have to figure out what's going on, so I don't want to just hide it either. So how about you return the gun? You won't achieve any recognition by breaking the captain's rules. If an officer wants respect, he has to deserve it. Good advice. I won't tell anybody you took the gun, but only if you return it to the weapons cache. If you do, then do it now, before the shift changes and everyone wakes up. <gasps> Uh-oh. I'm afraid it's too late for that. And there he is. Cornelius Hendricks. Is that how you say it? Cornelius? It doesn't look like a Cornelius. Cornelis? Captain Hendricks. All right, let's see what's going to happen. I was born in the East. Adopted and raised in the West. In a home away from home. A proud citizen of the Protectorate. When I decided to search for my roots, I knew things would change. <gasps> things did change. regret my choice? Maybe. Do I regret boarding the Herald? No. All right, and that is it, which is actually a huge bummer because I want to keep playing. <laughs> so that was a little taste of what this is all about. It, a pretty interesting game. I like that we've got all the different options. We can try and solve the problem different ways. I want to see what's going to happen. If we're going to get in trouble for trying to solve the gun situation or or if the captain is going to say, you know, good job trying to... I, I want to know how it all is going to play out. So I definitely think this is a game to watch. Um, head over to Greenlight. I'm going to vote for it. Give it a vote. Go to the Kickstarter, give them some support. This would be a fantastic game to play. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see me play the whole thing when it does come out. And this is one we'll keep an eye on.